like a little, it's like a little close, but yeah, we want to make sure we fit in here. Yeah, okay. get framed in. Yes. Hi, Kale. How are you? Thank you so much for sitting with me. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. I know you're a father of three, mm -hmm, right? Three girls. Yep. Three girls, have your own business. Mm -hmm, this you're is in. year 14, I believe. Wow. Mm. So you're busy. You have a lot Very to do. Very busy. Mm -hmm. So thank you for taking a little bit of time with yeah, me. Yeah, really for sure. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to jump right in. Okay. And I'm wondering if you could tell everyone a little bit about the Kale Fitch behind Kale Fitch Films. And a little bit about the business. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm addicted to Pinterest. I'm pretty crafty. Um, I like doing home projects and building things. And so when I'm not um, hanging out with the family or video, wedding films, I'm kind of like building things. I, that's one of my passions a little bit. Is that if I ever had a different business, it would be something geared towards that. Um, but yeah, this is year 14, and I started. Um, in high school, I kind of got a passion for video. I had a teacher that was really awesome, and that was about the only class I wouldn't slough. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how I got into video. And um, 14 years later, three kids, um, here we are. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. And tell me, why should brides be considering hiring a videographer for their wedding? Why is it? Why do you think um, it's important? Photography and video is two completely separate mediums. I think. Like you're not getting the full picture with just one. Like I would never recommend just have video, you need a photographer as well. But I feel like you're telling a different story in photos than you are with video. Mm -hmm. So things you aren't capturing like toasts and then natural audio and speeches and things you'll forget like opening um, a wedding gift from your groom or something like that. Um, you need that video portion and that side of it to tell the whole story. So I feel like it's really important um, to have. And it switched over the years, like it wasn't as commonplace 14 years ago, but now brides, I think, see the real value in it mm -hmm. and they want that for the wedding day. That's one of the things I talk, my favorite thing to talk to people about is their weddings. So mm -hmm. all my friends, I always ask them what their best experiences was, what their regrets are, so that I can learn from them. That's the one I hear the most often. Is yeah. Everyone has a photographer, but they wish they would have hired a videographer, the ones yeah. that didn't. I'll get emails asking to take footage from friends at the wedding and edit it together. And it's, it, unfortunately, you, you can edit it, but it's not the same thing. Like you can't, you can't make it into something that it's not. Yeah. So. I was thinking about this the other day. I found this gorgeous old photo of my grandmother. And it like the sepia, she's yeah. beautiful and young, it was just like 18, gorgeous. And it meant so much to me, that mm -hmm. photo. And I thought, how cool would it be to see wedding photos from her wedding day, which I don't have. And then I thought, but what if I had a wedding video yeah, from my grandparents sure. or even my parents mm -hmm. that I could see that would be completely different than seeing photos. Putting, Being able to put in the video and watch her laugh mm -hmm. and watch her and my grandpa dance and like see how they move would just be, would be so priceless. I feel like you get to relive the day and mm -hmm. yeah, that's priceless. I also try and make, you gotta keep up with the times and like how things change in styles and everything, but you also have to make it timeless. So like you were talking, the photo you saw was still timeless, mm -hmm. like it looked perfect and it's something that you don't look at and say, oh, that's too saturated or things like that. So you right. gotta make it timeless so 20, 30 years from now you watch it and relive it like you were there, not you know, listening to the favorite top 40 song or um, you know, really bad editing exactly. styles. Videos, they're one of those things where you're gonna enjoy watching them as you're newlywed, mm -hmm. but even more as you have kids mm -hmm. and even more as they have kids. And the more that time goes on, the more it's going to increase in value. Yeah, yeah and, we've, we've had our kids watch ours and they kind of laugh because mom and dad look a lot different yeah. <laughs> 10 years it's ago cute. than they do now. It's so fun. And they, they're one of the only things that you get to keep mm -hmm. along with your photos. Yep. And maybe your dress, but that you probably won't yeah, use you that just again. Leave that in my but everything else is going to be thrown in the garbage and forgotten about, yeah. except for these two things. So. Mm -hmm. It's true. Kind of important. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what are some things that brides should consider when they are looking to hire a videographer? Um, I mean, most brides that contact me, they, they have a clear vision of what they want in a wedding film. And I feel like you need to look for the style that fits you. You obviously have a vision of what you want your wedding to look like, and you should match that with your photography and your video. 
Um, so look at styles that match and also look at the person themselves. You want a personality that kind of fits with yours. You don't want things to be jumbled and awkward on the wedding day. So look for a style that fits, but also the person needs to kind of fit too. Um, yeah, and... <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. And when brides, if a bride were to reach out to you, what would be the process that you go through? Do you have... Are there questions yeah, that they should I be kinda, asking you or that you sh information that you should know? My 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 form now is kind of blank because I like to ask questions. I like that initial email of where the wedding is going to be and things like that. But I also like to get a little deeper and ask questions like if they have any special things during the day they're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, communication really is the key, I think, uh, before and after booking a videographer. You want that... Um, relationship to build over time and when the wedding day comes it's smooth sailing like it's no issues so really I have questions I ask them and I get a little deeper into like the wedding itself um, before we move forward okay cool now I have another question okay. that I think I have brides ask me sometimes but I think it's something that photographers and videographers yeah. think of a lot more yeah. and maybe not brides so much but it is something important to consider and that is um how photographers and videographers work together on the wedding day what that process is like can you speak a yeah. little bit to that um well we've worked together before uh -huh. and i felt like it was pretty smooth was day yeah, yeah we worked really well together i don't feel like either vendor has priority over certain things i feel like you just need to work together to get what you need like I know there's certain things that the photographer is going to need that I can back off for and give you the time to get that because I know you need time for portraits, you need time for the bride and her dress, the bridal shoot. And necessarily in my style, I don't shoot things like that, like just the bride and her dress. Um, so I feel like you don't need any extra time for one or the other. I just feel like you need to find that common ground and work together um, to get what you need. And if I haven't worked with a photographer or a particular vendor, I'll usually send an email or call just to introduce myself and say this is how I work throughout the day and just make it a little smoother, build a relationship with the other vendors as well. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, you've been really good to work with. Yeah. I know, I think that's important depending on who you hire for your mm -hmm. videographer because not everybody's gonna have that same philosophy. Yeah. Um, some people I've worked with are fabulous like you and some everyone's fabulous but some people want a lot more of their own separate time and so sometimes we do need to schedule mm. more time so I think it's a good conversation to have yeah. I don't think schedules can get pretty tight and busy and you just need yeah. to work a little quicker and you need to know when to step back or move forward and get things you need yeah it's good to have all the communication beforehand mm -hmm. can't over communicate right? no yeah I think I'm sure we talked before we worked yeah. together yeah and we always Oftentimes we show up a little early and we have time to talk on that day too, mm -hmm. which is always good. Yeah. But okay, well, anything else you want brides to know? Um, or grooms to I know? I don't think so, no. Um, yeah, just make sure you know what you're getting with a wedding vendor. Um, sometimes it's hard to compare apples to apples with certain videographers, even photographers. So just be clear on what you're getting from the videographer as far as coverage. Um, as far as individual films like a ceremony or highlight film things like that and also lead time once the wedding's over mm -hmm. how long does it take to get the films back so that's, it, that's really good it's really good okay and if people want to check you more of your work out where mm -hmm. can they find you uh, my website is kalefitchfilms.com and yeah you can just shoot me an email through there okay perfect that was awesome okay thanks. thank you so much <laughs> awesome.